Chronic ingestion of acetyl salicylic acid, or aspirin, may reduce the incidence of recurrence or metastasis in breast cancer patients. Breast cancer is the most frequently encountered malignant condition in women. Although the ethnic background influences the occurrence of breast cancer, there are evidences that the malignant condition is associated with early onset of menstruation or late menopause and postmenopausal obesity. What are the therapeutic options for breast cancer? Therapies that are used for the treatment of breast cancer can be broadly classified in three groups. One, chemotherapy, two, ionizing radiation, and three, surgery. Unfortunately, however, not all breast cancer patients who receive to these therapies respond equally well. There are responder and non-responder patients. The percentage of the responders could vary between 22% and 65%. What is metastasis of breast cancer? Metastasis, meaning a change of position, state, or form of cancer, is the appearance of cancer in different parts of the body from its primary site of development. Metastasis in breast cancer. Breast cancer is notorious for its tendency to appear in different parts of the body, including viscera, brain, and other soft tissues, even in those patients who have previously received all therapies, chemotherapy, radiation, and surgery, for the primary lesion in the breast. Why breast cancer metastasis is considered dangerous. The human breast by itself is not essential for survival and the development of malignant condition may not immediately create a life-threatening condition. The metastasis of the breast cancer to more vital organs of the body, for example, liver, intestine, lungs, brain, etc., may produce life-threatening conditions through serious impairment of normal function of the affected organ that is essential for survival. What can be done to stop breast cancer metastasis? There is no therapy available that can stop metastasis. There is no diagnosis to determine the occurrence of metastasis that may develop in the future. There is no fixed time when breast cancer metastasis may appear. Sometimes it takes years for the appearance of metastasis in breast cancer. What is the discovery that may reduce the chances of metastasis in breast cancer? We, a group of cancer researchers, have discovered that daily ingestion of aspirin, the common headache medicine, that is available in all drugstores may reduce the chances of metastasis or recurrence in breast cancer significantly. Significance level is greater than 99%. In patients who had previously received all therapies, chemotherapy, radiation, and surgery for the condition. Table, the reoccurrence of metastasis recurrence of breast cancer in patients treated with aspirin for three years. Maspin was measured by ELISA and NO was measured by methemoglobin method. It was found that in the patients who used aspirin on a regular basis, the occurrence of metastasis and or recurrence were found in 6 out of 35 participating subjects after 3 years. The other 29 breast cancer patients did not show signs of either the occurrence of metastasis or the recurrence of the condition during the same period. How much aspirin should be taken orally? It is best to use enteric coated 75 mg aspirin tablet per 70 kg of body weight only after a full meal, meaning not in an empty stomach. Is it safe to ingest aspirin? 75 mg of aspirin per 70 kg of body weight, particularly as an enteric coated tablet or capsule, usually does not cause any problem when ingested after a full meal. Although aspirin as a medication has an excellent safe safety record, Persons suffering from respiratory disease like asthma should not take aspirin. Rarely, aspirin may cause allergic reaction, hypersensitivity. If 75 mg of aspirin per 70 kg of body weight is not suitable for any reason, as little as 15 mg per 70 kg of body weight can be ingested for its beneficial effect in prevention of metastasis of breast cancer. In any event before use, the patient should always consult their personal physician whenever they use aspirin. How does aspirin reduce the occurrence of metastasis of breast cancer? Although aspirin is known to be an anti-inflammatory agent through its ability to inhibit prostaglandin production, our discovery demonstrated that ingestion of aspirin increased the plasma nitric oxide level in the blood 
that in turn stimulated an anti-breast cancer protein known as MASPIN in the body. MASPIN thus produced control of the metastasis of breast cancer. How MASPIN production in breast cancer was inhibited in the first place. Several hormones, including insulin, estrogen, and progesterone, are found to stimulate MASPIN production in normal conditions through the production of minuscule amounts of nitric oxide in the blood. In breast cancer, all of these hormones fail to produce MASPIN due to the inability of these hormones to produce nitric oxide, and consequently, the MASPIN production was inhibited. Aspirin corrected the problem by providing nitric oxide where the insulin, estrogen, and progesterone failed to produce MASPIN in cancer patients. Acknowledgements. This study was financially supported by numerous breast cancer patients from many countries. For greater details, please see our research publication entitled The Effect of Acetyl Salicylic Acid, Aspirin, Induced Restoration of Impaired Synthesis of MASPIN in the Occurrence of Metastas Metastasis in Breast Cancer. In Cancer Science, PMID 2067296. Or you may contact us, Professor Azru K. Sinha, Doctor of Science, Director, the Sinha Institute of Medical Science and Technology, 288 Kandua Main Road, Calcutta, 70084, India. Telephone, 91 9903 792100. Fax, 91 33 2412 7905. Or through email at asrukesinha at yahoo.com.